Wow. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. We're coming to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about cruise lines. Um, so um, just before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So cruise lines, um, I do have, uh, just here on the board here, I do have three cruise companies that I currently own in my portfolio just for transparency. So I'm going to talk based on these three companies. So if you own other cruise lines, that is absolutely okay. But I'm talking based on what I have. So um, this past week, the cruise companies have actually put out or volunteer um, and say that they're not going to sail until September 15. So a lot of people are saying it's like panicking and start selling your cruise line stock. So the question is, should you sell, should you buy, or should you hold um, cruise lines? Um, I personally um, have um, RCL, like I said, I have CCL and NCLH. And my entry price was, I think my RCL was under um, $35 when I bought it. And now it's currently trading at 52 bucks. Uh, my CCL was under $10 when I bought it and is now trading at $17. Um, my NCLH, it's um, now $17, but I think I bought it uh, around $10 or so. And so uh, when I look at that perspective, I do have some gains in the cruise lines and um, I don't think that this, this is news that's going to get them so bad to the point where we can go back in, in say, in March of this year. We're not going to see that kind of, um, uh, you know, an entry point. But if you do not have cruise lines in your portfolio and you were looking to get in and you thought that it, it's bad or it was starting to squeeze up already, this would be a good time because, for instance, NCLH, last, I think last week, early last week, they were trading at plus about $25. So this news came out and guess they dropped to 17. So you can dollar cost average yourself into the stock again. So at $17, that's not a bad place to start because if you look at your 52 week high, um, if he were ever to go back to that point, you would more than double that $17. So, but again, you go in at 17, looking, seeing if it drops again, you buy. If it starts to squeeze back up, you, you, add, you, you add to your position. So don't just go take your, let's say $1,000, for example, and just dump it at 17. Try to manage the money, say $200, $300, or $500, $500, and so you can dollar cost average yourself into the stock. So um, again, the, the news here is that cruise lines are volunteer that they're not gonna sell until September 15. And so I personally, for now, I'm holding my position. Um, but if I see it starts to squeeze back a little bit to the point where I feel uncomfortable. So if I see, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the NCLH squeeze all the way, if it starts to drop, if I see a rejection down to say $15, um, and then the news continues, I might have to sell and then wait. If it drops, I'll buy back. Um, just so I don't lose out on everything because um, I know I've actually done some uh, another video here where I told you guys what I was going to do with um, my airlines my my cruise and my oil and gas those three sectors I told you guys I was going to do with them once the market bounced back so these guys are no exemption uh, exception for from that rule so um, again, if you didn't have cruise lines in your portfolio, uh, maybe this will be a good, a good opportunity for, for you to get in. If you do have them and you bought them at the very bottom back in March when the market really crashed, um, you can look at maybe taking some profit out and, and then maybe hopefully buy if it, if it keeps dipping. Um, otherwise, just hold it. Um, again, if you're buying for the long term, so it would depend on your investment goal. If you are, um, let's say, a long-term investor, there's no need. All you have to do is just add to your position as it drops. Just keep adding. Um, if you are a swing trader, sell, sell, sell. Sell and then buy low again. That's the way a swing trader would do it. Um, and then, I mean, for, for people that um, don't have any positions, this is a good time for you to get in because the price has dropped. Like I said, um, early last week, this was $25 and now it's $17. And we, we saw it like two or three weeks ago, how fast these things can move. So if you are not in, if you buy right now, I need some good news. So we can base this off of, let's say um, NCLH, 
which has enough money to keep them afloat for at least 18 months without selling, which is good. So that's why I really like this one because it's solid. Their numbers are really good. They have enough money to keep them afloat. That means like not even selling for 18 months, they would still be okay, which is great. So that's kind of the, the things you want to see in a company. So I really like them. So of these three, if you would ask my personal opinion, which one you want to buy, I would probably choose NCLH just because um, the fact that they have their, their numbers are really good. They have uh, enough cash in hand that can sustain them for 18 months without selling. Uh, we know that they're going to sell in, in September, like I said, but again, who knows? Maybe come September, they're going to want to push that date uh, even out further. So um, again, that was my personal take. Uh, like I said, I have these three um, uh, companies in my portfolio. I'm going to hang on to them for now. I don't intend to sell, but if I see it start going down a little bit more, I'll sell and then buy because um, I don't want, I don't intend to hold them for a very, very long time. I would rather put them in other blue chip stocks that I enjoy. So question of the day, what do you think about um, cruise lines? Do you think they are very risky or do you think, hey, Mr. V, this is sort of like a, a cash machine. I'm jumping in, I'm buying. So let me know in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification bell and share this video with somebody that you think that would find it useful. And as always, stay motivated.